Arizona is a very diverse state, and it is purple. It's a purple state. You wouldn't think that. And uh, President Trump's not liked very much in Arizona. And Carrie Lake has chosen to attach herself like a barnacle to his message. I, at the moment, do not believe that she can win the, uh, the general for the Senate seat. I'm very concerned about how many Senate seats we have because we need it for justice. We have to have the Senate, the House, and the executive branch, the presidency. That's the only way we're going to see change, real change. Mark Lamb, who's running for U.S. Senate. Woo! Right. Yeah, Mark! Thank you guys so much for coming. I'm going to try to do this in five minutes because I'm glad they had me go first because I'll be honest with you, while I'm running for the U.S. Senate, this is truly one of the least important positions for your daily life. It does matter at the federal level, and it is an important position. But what affects your daily life, our ability to have Second Amendment rights, our constitutional rights, our ability to withstand COVID, all of those things are your elected officials at a local level, your state representatives, your board of supervisors, uh, your sheriff, all of those people have more important, the number one race for me to this, this cycle is the race for sheriff and getting Ross people elected. That's the number one race for me. Now, I've been blessed to be the sheriff. I love it. Um, it was a very hard decision to move on. You know, a lot of people, and you've, some of you have heard me say this, a lot of people will ask me, Sheriff, what's it like being in law enforcement now with the way that the politicians treat us, with the way that the media treats us, with the way that society has turned on law enforcement in so many places? I always tell them the same thing. 98% of the people we deal with are good people, decent people, normal people. Some make mistakes and we have to hold them accountable. 1% of those people deserve to be in jail. And the other percent deserve to never see the light of day again. Yeah. And half of that percent need to get out of politics. <laughs> I am not a politician. I am a patriot who loves God, family, freedom, and the Constitution. And that's why I do what I do. That's why we love you. I have been blessed to be a sheriff. I think the rule of law is the most important thing. That's what divides America from being, because there's other countries that are democracies. We are not. We are not a democracy. I heard Joe Biden talking about it again today at West Point, talking about a democracy, the threat to democracy. We are a constitutional republic, not a democracy. And why this is important is because a democracy is mob rule. Whoever has the loudest voice gets their way in a democracy. A constitutional republic is the consent of the governed. All of us throughout the country have a say-so in what goes on in this country. That's why it's important. There's other countries that have constitutions. Their constitutions tell the people what they can and cannot do. Our constitution tells the government what it can and cannot do. What makes America great is the rule of law. The founding fathers understood that when they said in the preamble to the constitution, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice. It is the most important piece. So for me to run for Senate, I had to make sure that we had that most important piece filled, which is why when we were sitting down and going through different people that we thought would be good candidates, when we got to Ross Teeple's name, it was immediately we felt like this is the guy to do it. We just needed to get him and his wife to agree to it. All the things that we've been able to accomplish over the last eight years, fighting the border situation, getting our budget under control and managing our budget, getting our uh, crime index reduced every, every year since we've been in office. We've been able to do that because we have understood the, what, what is important and what is important is you the voters, the employees, what is best for the county and what is best for the agency. And because we've done that, we've been able to be successful. And Ross Teeple is a man who understands he will fight for your constitutional rights, he loves the Second Amendment. I didn't think there's anybody who might love the Second Amendment more than me. If there is, it might be him. He has, he has more guns than me. <laughs> Probably because my kids take all my guns. <laughs> and uh, we need that now more than ever. Now, why am I running for the U.S. Senate? We had an opportunity. We've been trying to do a debate for a while. We actually got a... a, a I think it was probably accidental on their part, but we ended up doing a forum the other night. And folks, really, the, the big difference really is 
You're, we're hiring somebody for the highest level of government within our state and one of the highest positions within our country. Anybody in here who has been a business owner who's worked in a large company understands if you're going to hire somebody for one of your top positions, you would better be darn sure they bring the experience to the table for that position. We don't put people with no experience in that position. There is no candidate in this race that understands the board. That, here's the top four issues, by the way. No matter where we go, the top four issues are the border, the economy, crime, national security. Those are the top Amen. four issues. Amen. 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 There is no other candidate that brings the experience and the know-how and the understanding of the border, the complexities of it, the large-scale issues that we're dealing with. Uh, my candidate said that he's not even a sheriff, and I'm not quoting wrong, by the way, he's not even a sheriff in a border state. Yeah. <laughs> really? Last time I checked, Arizona was a border state. And frankly, Arizona is a border state. We may not be a border county, but we deal with border issues every day, whether it's in the desert on, coming out of the reservations, whether it's my helicopter, whether it's the 10 vehicles you see between Tucson and, and Casa Grande that are sheriff's vehicles and uh, other vehicles. Those are because we have a problem here with them trafficking the drugs and the humans into Phoenix. They have to come through Pinal County. We are an integral part of this, and we're going to continue to fight it. We need somebody that has that experience. We need somebody that understands the economy, who's, who's, who's balanced a large budget and stayed within that budget. Imagine, Imagine. that, a candidate, Imagine a, that. a candidate who wants to stay within the budget. Yeah. Crime, we understand what it means. And here's what I do understand as a Senate, my job is to, as a Senator, my job is to yank the chain back on the federal government and restore the, the state's rights that the 10th Amendment guaranteed us. This should be done by local law enforcement, state law enforcement. The federal law enforcement should be a a, a, a help to us at best, but they shouldn't be impeding in our, our lives and the lives of our citizens. And uh, we, need that, we need a candidate that understands these, that brings that experience to the table, an understanding of the Constitution. That's what I bring to the table, and I hope that the voters of Arizona will see it. I hope that you guys see it. That's what we need, and that's why I'm running for the U.S. Senate. It is not in my nature to stand on the corner and watch the building burn to the ground. Amen. Nor is it in my nature to stand there and wait for somebody else to run in it. That's right. There's a Danish saying that says, whoever has the ability has the responsibility. Amen. We feel the responsibility. My wife and I are just determined to be free. But I'm here more than anything today to support the candidates that will come up and speak now. These are not only friends of mine. These are fellow patriots. And the success that I've had as a sheriff is large in part due to the people that will speak to you today. Teresa Martinez, Chris Lopez. Teresa's been fighting down there at the legislature. If she calls me and says, Mark, what is, where do you stand as law enforcement? And I tell her, she'll stand against everybody else right. just to support the law enforcement in this county. Right. I've already told you guys, there's... <laughs> We have to get Ross Teeple in as the sheriff. We gotta get Ken Volkmer in as the county attorney. Yeah. We have had success. Sometimes you don't know what you have until you lose it. And I'm telling you, it's very good. Don't think that it can get better because the only way it gets better is by keeping these same people in and we stay on the same track. And then uh, we've got Steve Miller. You know, we went 11 years without raises before I became the sheriff. It was because the relationships were damaged. We've been able to come in, and thanks to Steve Miller and other supervisors that we have in the county, we've been able to successfully build the sheriff's office to one of the most influential sheriff's offices in the country. For Facebook followers, we're number two in the country, only behind the FBI. Wow, that's cool. That's and we know cool. they have an inside track with the social media. Right? So I hope that you will support these guys today. Um, we've got great people, great volunteers, great employees at the sheriff's office. We've got the greatest county in this state, and it's large in part because of you guys. And I hope you'll continue to support. Oh, Dana Shepard. You know, one thing is so many people ask me about the elections. Are they perfect? No. Am I? Are there things we need to fix? Yes. Do we have a Do we have a county recorder in this office in this county? who understands what it means to try to do the best to get your vote to count, we have the best person for that. Yes, and I see the Dana Lewis. Dana Shepard is another friend of mine. So Dana Lewis, 
<laughs> I know her name. Dana That's Lewis. That's why I said that, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> Dana Lewis. Sorry, Dana. You know I love you. <laughs> That's what happens when you have two people on your phone with a with a different last name. So, Dana's great, and uh, we just got to get these people in. So I've taken too much time already. I just want to say thank you, thank you all the, from the bottom of my heart. Because as I go through this year, the memorial, the things that I've done, the last posse graduation, they hit my heart because this is the last time I get a chance to do these things in a county that I love, in a position that I love. And I hope to take that same passion and love to Washington, D.C. to fight for you on a national level. So thank you. I hope to get your vote on July 30th for Senate. And please support these great candidates that are going to be up here speaking after me, including Dana Lewis. So make sure to get that. Thank you, guys. And uh, thank you for having us in your home and opening your home as well. So thank you. An easy way to remember my name is to take you back to your Sunday school. Here's the church, here's the steeple. Open it up and see all the teeples. I, I was raised Southern Baptist in Tucson, Arizona, and I learned that from my grandma at, at Castle Dobie's Baptist Church down in Tucson. So I, it's so great that the Lord works in mysterious ways and I can remember that to this day. Uh, Boots did point out something that I'd like to point out. There's a lot of red, white, and blue out here. There's a lot of Republican red out here but the sheriff is in his traditional black shirt. I'd like to point out that because of the fact that that says something because he has kept no red in our ledger at the Pinal County Sheriff's Office since yeah. he took over. All right. When he was running for sheriff, we were $1.6 million in the red halfway through the fiscal year. And when he was running for sheriff in 2016, he said, I'm going to get the sheriff's office in the black and under budget. And he did that by the end of that fiscal year, he walked in there halfway and we've been in the black ever since then. So absolutely amazing job. That, that's one of the things I say to people was, is I was at a meet and greet last night. And at the meet and greet, they asked me why they should vote for our next Senator Mark Lamb over his opponent. And that's the easiest way I can explain it to you is, is the fact that in politics, why do we promote people that are failures or have never done something that they can prove before? Right. And we, President, stolen President Biden. He was a failed senator for 41 years and now he's the leader of the country. He's, he's been the successful, absolutely successful sheriff for the last seven years and I will be heartbroken when he's gone. We, we just had our annual Peace Officer Memorial and he, he actually made most of the Honor Guard cry, which we're not supposed to. We're going to be um, emotionless on the Honor Guard because he said this is his last memorial. Well, uh, Senator, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not your last memorial because next year he's going to be the keynote speaker because we've never had a, set, a yeah. sitting senator come and speak. <laughs> uh, a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a lieutenant with the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. I've worked for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office for 17 years. I really love serving the people of Pinal County and the citizens of the United States. I will tell you that in case you don't know, I teach law enforcement history at the academy. And if you don't know, the Arizona Constitution is great because it not only mandates that the sheriff is an elected position, but it mandates what the sheriff's responsibilities are. And I like to explain it that it's a table and you have to have all four legs filled on that table for the table to be sturdy. The sheriff is responsible to preserve the peace, conduct search and rescue operations in the county or neighboring counties if requested by another sheriff, serve civil paperwork and maintain the jails. There is only one person working for the, or running for Pinal County Sheriff that has done all four of them things. I'm the only person that has Arizona correctional officer experience running or any type of custodial experience running. And that is extremely important because that is our biggest liability. Supervisor Miller will tell you that the biggest portion of our budget is the sheriff's office, the jail. Uh, it costs us $30,000 a year approximately to house an inmate. So that's the significant part of our budget. So for someone to come in that has no corrections experience, is they're, they're going to be stumbling blocks. And this is not the time for stump. I think I shut it off. Yeah. It's the testing, testing. Yeah. This is not the time for stumbling blocks. Um, I, I've been to six debates so far. Um, I don't know if I can really call them debates because five of them were Republican debates and my opponent didn't show up. <laughs> the, the shocking thing to you, um, my pastor says, and we've lost church members to this, but it's absolutely positively true. My pastor says, in today's day and age, you cannot call yourself a Christian and a Democrat. 
You cannot be for full Truth. term abortion and be a Democrat. True. Well, they are so delusional because I will tell you one of the debates I went to, my Democratic opponent did show up and I'm glad he did because the first part of his speech was is he told us that the border is not an issue. The border is not an issue. <laughs> that shows you how delusional he is. It absolutely positively shows you how delusional it is. I served in the United States Navy and Desert Storm. The whole world recognized that when 80,000 uh, troops went into Saudi Arabia, or Kuwait, sorry, that was an invasion. But we don't understand that NGOs and Biden are facilitating an invasion of 12 Amen. million people into our country. That's right. That's truth. It's, this is not the time for us to elect somebody that has to learn on the job. One thing I'm very grateful for is our next senator, when we decided to go down this path, uh, he moved me up to the third floor and I'm right down the hall from him. So I, I'm included in the day-to-day -day decision making processes. It's his agency, he still makes the decisions, but I get to understand why he makes that decision. So I have a better global view. So there will be no impediment for when, hopefully you guys promote me to sheriff. Absolutely. Uh, as, yeah. And I'd like to thank everybody for showing up today. Absolutely positive, everybody, especially as a United States Navy veteran. Navy is the best, sorry everybody. <laughs> but as a US Navy veteran, I would like to take a moment to thank all of the veterans that are in the audience, all of you that served, because you were truly the world's first responders. Amen, that's what I'm say. My grandfather served in the U.S. Army during World War II. My father served in the U.S. Navy during Vietnam, and I will be um, visiting my father's grave on Memorial Day after we do the service in Casa Grande. He's buried in the Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Marana. So this weekend is very important to us. We finally get his headstone this weekend. So uh, it's a very important weekend for me, and it's the most important election of our life. Truth. Absolutely, positively. Um, I, I truly thought that, Ronald, I'm a Ronald Reagan Republican. I won't talk bad about other Republicans. Um, I, I truly, though, cannot figure out how we've managed to get a president that's worse than Jimmy Carter. True. <laughs> Good question. Good question. So I, I thank every one of you for coming out here today. I am extremely pro Second Amendment, but I'm extremely all of your individual life, rights, and liberties. And I know exactly how to run this sheriff's office so we can keep it the safest large county in Arizona. Absolutely. If you think of just two things when you leave here today is understand that if you elect me sheriff, only two things are really gonna change at the sheriff's office. And I hate to break it to you, but the new sheriff will not be bilingual. He speaks outstanding Spanish. And the next sheriff will not be as good looking. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you. This is Dana Lewis, the Pinal County Recorder, and she's going to tell you about the importance of your vote and how to protect it. So in Pinal County and in the state of Arizona, we're a triple threat state. That means you can vote early by mail, vote early in person, or vote on the polls on election day. What I need you to do is make sure you go to Service Arizona or my.arizona.vote and make sure that you're registered and that all of the information in your registration record is accurate. Also, if it's been 20 years or more since you signed a paper form, I need you to reach out to the early voting department and make sure we have an actual live wet signature on file for you because that's how we used to prove your identification in Pinal County. And the definition of a wet signature is like a new signature that's wet from the ink, the ink's wet? Oh, we absolutely uh, form or sign up people online and at the MVD. And then you're getting one of those computer generated kind of signatures. And those are really difficult to match in our system. So if you can go uh, online, print out the actual form, sign the form and mail that in to us, that's the better way for us to get a signature, guys. So it's obviously we're really sensitive right now about the vote because what happened in 2020. Mm -hmm. So it's more important than ever to make sure that you're registered because you are an American citizen, you care about the country, and this woman does. These are, these are the people that are out there trying to make sure that everything is straight. And it's more important than ever in this election because it's a historic election. Absolutely. 2024 is one of the biggest elections we've seen in a really long time. And we need voters to turn out, so have a plan. I don't care if you're using the mail or using one of our uh, video secured drop box locations that are on county property at 15 different locations across the county or if you're going to show up and vote early in person or vote at the polls I just need you to turn out and make sure you check on your neighbor and make sure they have a plan to vote too. There you go an American citizen that cares about our vote you should too 
is Mustang Medic reporting in Casa Grande, <laughs> Casa Grande, California. Thanks for watching. We're in Arizona there, dude. What? What did I say? You said California. Did this I say California? Ca this is Casa Grande. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, this is Casa Grande, oh, Arizona. Oh, oh. And I'm going to leave that in because, it's, you know, I make mistakes. <laughs> I was in California a little too long. Where they got into my head. We'll forgive you. Yeah. What, what is it? The, the, they make a joke like the... the Don't Cali California my Arizona? Or like California is not part of, this, of the country and they, they I chop it out. I won't say that if they're still American citizens. No, there you go. There yeah. you go. William Whitting signing out from Casa Grande. Arizona. Casa Grande, Arizona. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm still boots on the ground, guys. I'm in Arizona. I'll probably be back in D.C. There's a lot of good people in Arizona that need to be heard. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. God bless you. Uh, we now have finally got our PayPal link working properly. So if you want to um, donate to get, so I can continue to do this full time, you can go to realmustangmedic.com and you can see the links and the PayPal link will be there. And fortunately, it actually works. Imagine that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Appreciate you.